Hello and welcome back to the University of Nottingham Rugby Club's highlights for this week's game as they take on Durham University. Nottingham started brightly as a darting run from centre Freddie Vaughan brought the men in green and gold up to the five metre line. They then piled on the pressure before Alex Sabin lunged over to score his second try in as many games. Durham quickly equalised, however, as they brought themselves level after sustained pressure from a driving maul, which Jacob Head eventually dotted down. Durham then capitalised on their score and after some excellent work from scrum half Max Pepper selling a neat dummy to break through Nottingham's defensive line, Paul Brown was on hand to cruise over as Durham took the lead for the first time. But Nottingham showed excellent resolve to pull the game level again as Lewis Pickford broke free of the driving mall to cross over for the green and gold, bringing the game to 14 all. Spirits are up for Nottingham and after eight phases of consistent pressure, smashing tirelessly into the Durham line, Ollie Thorny work thumped his way through two defenders to give Nottingham a 21-14 lead. However, Paul Brown grabbed his second try of the match to once again tie up the game as Nicholson took down Jamie and Nan's kick well before releasing the pace of Brown down the wing. Again, Durham capitalised on their score as Jacob Head also grabbed his second of the game after a huge maul from the Durham pack, ended up in the home side, once again leading 28-21. Not long after, Rory Stewart-Cox showed his skill in finishing as he was released down the left-hand side after a Durham turnover and crossed to make it 35-21 to Durham. Durham kept working and Rory Stewart-Cox once again showed his pace, darting around the Nottingham line before offloading beautifully out the back of his hand 
to the oncoming and supporting Max Pepper, who crossed under the post for his first try of the game. Nottingham valiantly fought on, however, with Connor Moyes running an exceptional line to slice through Durham's ragged defence and reducing the deficit to just 14 points. But it was Paul Brown's brilliance once again that really put the game to bed, as he showed some unbelievable footwork to complete his hat-trick for the men in purple. Conor Moyes did grab his second of the game late on, but it inevitably proved to be a consolation as the green and gold fell to a second defeat in a row on the road. <laughs> 